All right, hey, Haze Mega here, and welcome to another Haze Mega RAV4 Prime video. So I'm trying to see if I, I just installed a new set of wheels and tires on my RAV4 Prime, and I changed the uh, the TPMS sensors. Okay, I, they're brand new TPMS sensors, never been used, and so I'm going to see if I can register it myself. All right, um, I know you can use a fancy computer to do it, but it looks like in the manual you can do it yourself. So we're going to learn together, okay guys? So it says every tire pressure warning valve and transmitter has a unique ID code. When replacing a tire pressure warning valve and transmitter, it is necessary to register the ID code. When registering the ID codes, perform the following procedure. Park the vehicle in a safe place, wait for 20 minutes, and start the hybrid system. Um, okay, well, I just kind of, I drove around my block and uh, I think. So, so let's fire it up. Okay. Okay, I started the hybrid system. Oh, I started the car. Okay. Um, so this is in page 476 of the uh, RAV4 Prime owner's manual, by the way. Okay. So it says, press the left, press the left and right meter control switches on the steering wheel, and select the uh, the little cog icon. All right, that's the settings. So we're gonna go left and right, right here. Okay. Uh, I think you go left twice, and then you'll get, you'll get, uh, you know, right here. Okay. I don't think there's a cog thing. This one is settings. I don't think it's this one, guys. This is not the one we're looking for. It's this one. All right. Vehicle settings. Okay. And select vehicle settings. There you go. Okay. Oh, that the cog. All right. Hold on, guys. The cog is right there. <laughs> you guys are wondering. So if you go left and right, it sh there's little icons on the bottom there. See that one that's highlighted right now on the bottom? That's the cog they're talking about <laughs> in the manual. I'm like, where is that? <laughs> okay, I, I, and I'm gonna press, I know, I know, I go in here all the time, guys. I press up twice, all right? I'm gonna press up twice, and that should take us to vehicle settings. I'm gonna hold the okay button down. Boom, all right, we're in vehicle settings. All right, press the up and down and select TWS and then press OK. All right, so TWS is the third one down. I click it down twice, hit OK. All right, and then uh, press the up and down meter control switches and select identify wheel, then press and hold OK until the tire pressure warning light starts blinking three times. Okay, I think I just did this, so. Uh, anyway, we're going to go to identify wheel and then hold the OK button down. Okay. Boom. Okay. And then it's going to blink three times, it says. One, two, up, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. <laughs> it just keeps on blinking, guys. Maybe it's doing something. I don't know. Okay, I don't know. It's just blinking now. Um, okay, to the change wheel set mode is activated and registration is started. Then a message will display on the multi-information display when registration is being performed. The tire pressure warning light will blink for approximately one minute, then illuminate, and then it will say dash dash. It will be displayed for the inflation pressure for each tire on the multifunction display. Um... Let's see. Then press hold OK until the tire pressure warning light blinks three times. Okay. Identif identify wheel accepted. Okay, so I, I didn't get that warning. Do we have to go back out? It doesn't say. Okay, well, there's no tire pressure. Maybe I did something wrong. Okay, well, anyway, it says drive straight with occasional left and right turns at approximately 25 miles per hour or more 
for approximately 10 to 10 to 30 minutes even if the vehicle is not even if the vehicle is not driven at approximately 25 miles per hour or more registration can be completed by driving for a long time however registration does not complete after driving for one hour perform the procedure again all right and then initialize the tire pressure warning system all right that's on page 247 all right i think i think it's that uh this one right here um you set you set tire pressure okay guys uh we can go over that real quick and then hindi's is going to go for a drive <laughs> Okay, uh, we're, we're, when replacing this is when replacing tires and wheels, if the ID code and tire pressure warning valve and transmitter is not registered, the tire pressure warning system will not work properly. After driving for 20 minutes, the tire pressure warning light blinks for one minute and stays on to indicate a system malfunction. Okay. Um, here it says, initialize the tire pressure warning system. The tire pressure warning system must be initialized in the following, when rotating the tires, when changing the tire, after registering ID codes, and when changing between two registered wheel sets. Ah, okay, so yeah, you can, so, so yeah. Uh, when the tire pressure warning system is initialized, the current tire pressure, tire inflation pressure is set as ben the benchmark pressure, so, that base basically it's I think it's 33 psi on the uh, Rav4 Prime, so it's gonna look for a pressure around 33 psi, and if it's not, it's gonna complain. Okay, uh, how to initialize a tire pressure warning system? Park the vehicle in a safe place and stop the hybrid system for 20 minutes or more. Uh, initialization cannot be performed while the vehicle is moving. Adjust the tire pressure to the specified cold tire inflation pressure level. Uh, Make sure to adjust the tire pressure to the specified cold tire pressure level. The tire pressure warning system will operate based on this pressure pressure level. Start the hybrid system. Press the left and right on the meter. All right, we already went through all that. Uh, you got to go to TWS and then press the up and down and put setting pressure and then hold OK. And then set pressure accepted will be displayed on the multi-function, multi-information display and the tire pressure warning will blink three times when the this message disappears initialization is complete a message is displayed on the multi information display also dot dash dash will be displayed drive straight for 25 miles oh boy it's the same it's the same deal you got to drive it again uh, it's, it's a it's a lot of driving okay guys so all right so Hayes Bay is gonna try and see if this works all right uh, right now it's not doing anything okay guys there's not it's not showing any any tire pressures so we need to go and uh, I need to go and drive it now. Okay, so I'll let you know what happens. <laughs> All right. Oh, oh, okay. I did it again. Uh, so I, you're supposed to see something that says identify wheel accepted. Uh, there's like a, and you'll see like you know the TPMS screen. You'll see that. All right. Um, and and it'll it'll have like dashes on the tire pressures, but it'll say wheel accepted. So. And then we got to go drive it. Okay, so in the manual, it says uh, when the registration is complete, you'll see this light disappear, okay? And then you should be able to see the tire pressures. All right, so um, yeah, I'm just going to keep on driving. I drove around the neighborhood for about five minutes, so I'm just going to keep on driving, driving, driving. <laughs> All right. All right, I'll let guys, you know what, what I'm doing. Right? I'm just driving around the neighborhood. That's a perfect way to uh, set the tire pressure <laughs> the thingy. Okay. So at some point, the tire pressure light will go out, all right, hopefully. So we're just driving around 25 miles per hour. It's just to occasionally make left and right turns. So that's what I've been doing. All right, it hasn't come off yet. It's been about 10 minutes. It's kind of painful driving 25 miles per hour in the 40 zone. <laughs> it's okay, it's late at night, so there's not a lot of traffic. All right, still hasn't gone off yet. It's been about... Uh, it does say that like it could take up to an hour if it doesn't do it doesn't go by, through an hour then re redo it ha have him have it try to learn again all right guys guess what i did it it worked <laughs> it took me like 20 minutes of driving to get it all right but it worked <laughs> there it is it it, re it read the tire pressure so there you go guys it works now i can drive at the regular speed limits <laughs> But yeah, so yeah, and I'm I remember the tire pressures were about like 36 psi and that's about right. So Cool. All right, and with that guys, that's how you uh, can program a new TPMS sensors 
on your Toyota RAV4 Prime. Uh, whether this works for the other RAV4s, I don't know, but Hayes Omega has a 2021 RAV4 Prime and you just saw, we just went through the manual and I did it like it said and it was pretty much like it said, okay? Um, I think uh, um, there's a win there's the w little window that pops up and it shows you all the, the tire pressures like this one here, but it's supposed to say tire tire pressure or tire sensor accepted or something like that all right and it only pops up for a few seconds i didn't notice it the first time so i went and did it again and i saw it again and it popped up okay and then uh so all i did is i drove it for about 20 minutes guys so it took about 20 minutes of driving at 25 miles an hour and then uh, yeah some guy came up behind me and i was like oh shit man this is a 40 zone I'm doing like 30 or something, so I better speed it up. I, and I sped it up to 40, and then and then I saw the the, ti the tire pressure light right here. It went out, and then and then I went and checked the tire pressures, and they're all there. Okay, so so there you go, guys. That's how you do it. All right. So right, and so so I'm not gonna lie. Uh, the reason I wanted to do it myself is because I was gonna take it to a tire place, uh, like a like a, a auto shop tomorrow and uh i was gonna have them do it for me and they said they were gonna do it for 50 bucks i don't like i was like ah, maybe i could save myself 50 bucks and i could figure out how to do it on my own uh because somebody told me like yeah so some cars they just learn it on their own and apparently this is one of them okay so i've never um i've never owned a vehicle that has like a fancy tpms monitoring system like this i had the one where like uh like in the prius my, my old prius the the tire light will go on and then uh and then that means it's, there's something wrong with your tires it doesn't tell you what the pressures are or anything i don't think there's any kind of menu for the tpms sensors anywhere on the old prius yeah but the good job toyota man you you made it so like the owners could do it all right and nowhere nowhere online did i see that they had there's this procedure all right um i had to actually look in the owner's manual and do it all right and and i was like oh you can do it <laughs> okay and so what i also what i heard is you can register up to eight wheels all right so you can have a separate set for winter wheel winter tires and then another set for you know the rest of the year tires all right and i think it also does your spare tire i'm not 100 percent on that though yeah so but uh, but yeah you can do up to eight sets so um I think I think you have to do this whenever you uh, um, whenever you swap wheels. Okay, so basically, um, now I don't know if you I can add a third set of wheels. Maybe it just deletes one of one set of the wheels. I'm not sure. Okay, guys, but it doesn't matter. I'm not changing these wheels on this car. All right, these wheels will be on here for for the life of it, pretty much, <laughs> unless I get a different set of wheels. Okay, so there you go. All right, that's how you get your. Toyota RAV4 Prime, all right, Hayes Omega has a 2021 Toyota RAV4 Prime, but I'd imagine it's probably very similar for the other RAV4 Primes, okay, and maybe the other RAV4 hybrids and all that stuff, okay, um, and, uh, and yeah, so that's how you do it, you know, you just, uh, you go in the thing, and you have it learn, and you drive it for, like, 10 to 30 minutes, and it said if you don't do it, if it doesn't do it in an hour, then redo it, all right, redo the procedure, okay, and then, and then that's it. Cool deal. So thanks for us. I hope you, this was an educational and entertaining video. Thanks for watching. That's how you get your RAV4 Prime to learn how to program a new set of TPMS sensors. All right. <laughs> All right. Here's big out.